hey 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 y'all welcome back to my channel it's your girl re if you're new to this channel make sure you hit that subscribe button turn that notification bell on and get this video a big thumbs up welcome back i'm so excited to be here with you all again i know y'all miss me so y'all miss me because i miss y'all <laughs> hey y'all um i got another nail content for y'all today i am going to be showing y'all some madam glam i'm recording on my phone today too so if y'all see that right there that's my phone uh my camera y'all my camera my camera my camera so i use a canon g7x and um i need to get some pieces like this is loose like very very loose i have to get um some screws for that and then I gotta figure out some settings with that camera because lately that camera like been just not focusing right. I don't know. Maybe I need to just upgrade and get a different camera. I really want that new Canon. What is the name of it though? I'm trying to think so I could tell y'all because I really forgot the name of it. I really don't remember the name of that Canon. So I might just end up recording with my um, iPhone 14 until I get that new camera. But anyways, this video is sponsored by Madam Glam. Thank you, Madam Glam. And um, they sent me some gel polishes. Y'all, my box had popped open because it's been sitting for a while. They sent me this a few months ago and my son... Uh, just be playing around and the box popped open and uh yeah i have a few polishes in here um i did open this on my own this is a uv light just to test it out and see how it is i should have waited to open it in front of y'all but yeah girl when she get goodies she can't wait to open stuff i be thirsty i be so thirsty i did try to uh clear polish this in here i love it but y'all will see and it lasts it lasts it really lasts and it works really good with chromes so yeah so okay time to open the box so guys uh madam glam sent me this what is this called mysterious this is mysterious and this is that color we're gonna try all these out and see what they looking like this is perfect white so, oh, I read the reviews on this. So, supposedly, you're supposed to be able to do, like, one coat and you're good. So, we're going to see about that. And then we have Perfect Black. And it's the same way. So, yep. This color is called Belle Epoque. <laughs> I got it. Google and YouTube definitely help you for sure then i have madam glam's base coat and their top coat so that polish gave me a hard time trying to pronounce that so we definitely gonna use that belle epoque you got a curl at the end so they gave me this little card and then on the other side it just show you how to apply the polish to your nails Ooh. i forgot what and then we have Parisian Night. This is a cat eye gel polish, 5D, matter of fact, cat eye gel polish. So we're gonna be using all those. And then we also have the lights. So we're gonna use that light. So in today's video, we're going to be using Beetles Nail Tips and Glue. This is what you call the Gel X the stuff that y'all probably been seeing trending this is the gel x and i really love this i think i'm gonna add this stuff into my services because it's so simple so easy and it lasts for a long time yeah i just got the nails off and it was a hard time trying to get them off i had uh the gel x nails on for my birthday which was july the 15th and i didn't get them off until 
the end of August. So yeah, we're going to open this. So it comes with a little white, your nail glue, and some instructions, and your tips, of course. These portable lights that they have was the best thing they could did, have done because you can put in your purse. You just pop these out. Oh, hold on. Ah, that hurt. Okay, you pop this out and it stands up like this. Isn't it so cute? So, these are all the tips. How has everyone been doing though? I miss y'all. I really do. Because uh, um, I've been doing okay. Trying to stay afloat, you know. Still working on the shop. That's moving kind of slow motion. Well, it is moving slow motion. So you want to make sure that you have, if it's right in the, cuticle area and from side to side while you want to make sure that it's covered so that fits great right there so that's the number five i'm only doing one hand so i don't need to get two and they sell different um shapes and sizes and stuff like that so you could always order that separately I just get a little bit of nail glue and instead of putting it all the way down there near the cuticle area area I just leave a little empty spot right there and kind of swipe a little bit down because you want to have enough but not too much and then I kind of like push it back on my cuticle a little bit make sure that the nail is straight push down and then put underneath the light you'll feel it it kind of like feels like a little burning sensation it's not bad though well, that's just the glue curing so yep that's on there and i just want to put it under there for a little bit longer just so it'll cure all the way boom it's cute and simple you can cut them and stuff too at the end and we just go repeat the same process with each nail don't want to get too close to the cuticle area or too hot up where the free edge is because you don't want that glue to get underneath your natural nail and push it down in the cuticle area push down a little not too much see like that's crooked okay there we go see my issue was when i was doing it the first time i was putting all i was curing all the nails crooked that's the hard part that's the part you gotta try to Kind of like make sure that when you're pushing it down, you got it turned the right way because if not in a cure, you'll have a crooked nail. So make sure it's straight before you put it underneath the light because I feel like this one a little crooked, but it ain't bad. So now I'm going to just continue. And you see how it's not nothing coming out from like the sides. That's because I didn't put any around the cuticle area i didn't put any glue down there in the cuticle area so i kind of like missed some spots up here but it's not bad it's not bad yeah i love gelix nails they look like so convenient and i also heard you can fill them in i have to watch a few videos on that though to see how that work but they last they definitely last it's kind of like a press on, but better. I'm just going to shape these little. That's it. I ain't going to cut them. I want to keep a little length to it. So we're just going to shape it a little. <laughs> just a little shaping. Yeah. 
these are the gel x nails they so cute so let's get into something cute let's see what we gonna do let's see what we gonna do we're gonna use this blackout and i gotta tell y'all the story going to atlanta so we're gonna see how this blackout works Let's see, we gonna go ahead and start with the pointer finger. Ooh, that looks thick and it looks good. I like it. This is a win for me. And it don't have those many streaks in it. Oh yeah, I like it. Ooh. Okay, Madam Glam, this look good. That looks good. That look good. <laughs> I like the consistency of this gel. It's everything. You could, if these nails wasn't clear, you could really just, to be honest, I don't even need another coat, to be honest. But y'all probably can't see it, but I can. Since these nails are clear, I feel like I just need one more thin coat. And we in there. But that look good. That looks great. And this is the type of white gel. Well, I was about to say white, but black gel and white gel that I need. Because when you have clients and stuff and you're trying to get them in and out, we don't got time to be polishing four coats of white or black for the base or whatever. Cause I like to use my gel polishes as art too. So I don't have time to keep going over the white or black. And this is definitely killing it. I like it. Yes. Okay, madam. This is nice. So yes, back to the Atlanta trip. So guys, while we was driving there, we first was gonna go to Florida. Mind you, Florida like, I stay in Ohio, Florida like 15, 16 hours away. So we didn't leave until probably, I wanna say it was six o'clock that night. And we like, yeah, we not gonna make it to the next day. So let's figure something out. So we end up deciding Florida. I mean, I said Florida, don't mind me. Atlanta, so we drive to Atlanta it take us about seven, eight hours. We get to Atlanta, and man, you, it was probably like a little 12 o'clock, I want to say, 12 in the morning. And we like trying to find a hotel because normally, like, when you get to certain cities and states, finding hotels or inns is not that hard. But, baby, listen every single person we call but first of all i called a place before i even got there and asked if they had anything available and they told me yeah but then when we got there they're like oh we don't do check-ins this late so every single place that we call talk about some we have nothing available right now and blah 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 so an hour passed then two hours passed then three hours passed and before you knew it was like three o'clock. And I'm like, babe, where are we gonna sleep? I'm getting tired. Like, so long story short, we end up having to sleep in the dang on car in a par a paid parking lot. I was just highly, highly upset, y'all. I was just so upset. Like I almost cried because I'm like, it's hot. We sleeping in a car. We in Atlanta. We don't know nothing about over here. We don't know nothing about this parking lot. So we made sure we put towels and shirts over the windows and kind of cracked the window a little bit and slept in the car. It wasn't, luckily it wasn't that hot in the parking lot, but of course we didn't sleep with the car on. Yeah, I woke up in a sweat pool though i know that for sure so 
So we end up waking up. I want to say it was like six in the morning. Going to go find us a hotel. We finally had found one. Oh, but that night, I didn't even get into detail. So we're going to use all these, y'all. I'm going to do something kind of cute. Not kind of. I'm going to do something cute with these. I'm going to see what kind of. Because this kind of like got these colors mixed in with it. So I'm going to see if I can put all these colors together. Do something really cute. But yeah. We ended up finding a hotel that night. I forgot to tell y'all. It was actually a motel. And it was so, it was Motel 6. Was it Motel 6? And it was so nasty, y'all. I'm going to put a picture up here so y'all can see these bugs that was on a bed. It was just disgusting. It was bugs on a bed, bugs crawling everywhere. The ceiling cracked up, paint peeling. It was just trifling. So we end up asking for another room. And the other room had the same issue. So I'm like, I'm over it. at this point. Let's just go find somewhere to park and sleep, which we did. But that man made me so mad because he kept trying to tell me that I couldn't get my money back. Oh, excuse my dog, y'all. That's black. I'm like, uh, sir, you're going to give me my money back because I'm not sleeping in this room full of bed bugs or bugs or whatever it is that's on these beds. Like, no, this is what we're not doing. So my dude, like, yeah, bro, we need our money back. So we end up getting our money back. And then, let me tell y'all about this, man. Hold on. Let me go ahead and start put my design on. <laughs> I'ma tell y'all in just a second. Hush. Oh, this is cute, guys. I think I like this. Is gonna be so cute. Oh, yes, this is cute. Oh, yeah, that's cute. We're gonna stick with this design. I like it. I like it. I really, really like it. <laughs> Okay, y'all, so then the man was walking around with freaking um, no shoes on. No shoes on. The lobby looked at trifling. And I was just praying to God, like, okay, I hope the rooms be good. But no, my prayers did not get answered. The rooms were horrible. And I'm like, at this point, I'm ready to go. I don't like it. Like, both of the rooms is nasty. I'd rather sleep in a car. I'm never sleeping with any bugs and getting bit up and possibly bring something home. So, yeah, we just end up sleeping in a car after that. I wonder how to look if, let's see. Let me try something. Y'all, and I do not have, I don't have a, a magnet. That's what I need. That's what I really need. Oh, this work. Okay. Okay. We're going to do it just like that. we going to do it like that. <laughs> I've got on y'all. I'm using a screwdriver and it has a magnet piece. Cause I can't find my magnet that I normally keep at the house. All my magnets at the shop for my cat eye gel. So we're just gonna use the, the screwdriver. Make it work. How do y'all like that? Is that cute? Is it giving? So yeah. I think I like that. Yeah, let's try it with the white. Oh, 
We're going to be using this perfect white and see how this white looks. Oh, I like this white too, though. It's just like the black. And you could just tell, like, it's a good white, just like the black. You don't really need too much thick. That look good. But yeah, so I advise anyone that goes out of town without getting a hotel first, get a hotel first. And if you don't know where you're going, figure it out before nighttime because you will be stuck. But it's been a couple of times where I went out of town. I actually went to Myrtle Beach um, the beginning of the year without getting a hotel. And as soon as we got there, we was able to get a hotel. But I guess for different places, it's different. But I feel like Myrtle Beach is very busy, but I was still able to get a hotel and it also matters the time in the day, but it was the weekend where everybody be there, holidays and all that. And I was able to get a hotel, but with Atlanta, it was different. They don't play no games there. <laughs> but that was just a lesson learned. But we had so much fun in Atlanta. We end up going out. Um, they do not sleep. I've been knew that from going years ago, but we went out, we had went to go get some food, we uh, chilled, and then Myrtle Beach, of course, we chilled on the beach for a while. We uh, walked around, sightseeing and all that stuff. So, it was quite fun. I'm just playing around though with it but madam glam i like they gels it's really thick and nice like you know how you had them thin runny gels theirs is not like that like theirs is really thick and nice i do like Okay, so now that that's covered enough, I'm going to go ahead and put some more Blossom Gel on this nail. Alright. So, let's see how we going to do this one. I'm just playing with it. Mm, I don't like that either. Let's start that over. Should I do like the little leaves like that? Leaves. Or should I do both? 
like this. Okay, so you should do one dot and then and one leaf. Has some dots on there too with the leaf. You like that? Okay, guys, I think I have an idea. <laughs> so I think this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to add some leaves with some dots. Sun, sun, just help me out a little bit. Uh, yeah, that's how we're going. Sun, sun. Yep, sun, sun. <laughs> yeah, I am not too good at doing these type of leaves. If anybody a pro at these, please comment and tell me how to do these because these are hard to me <laughs> and some people be getting them so perfect and i just be like how 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 did you do that Naran, look I need approval again. Okay, so look. Should I do them mini dots or take some of them off? Just that way. Okay, should I do this hand the same as this one? Yes. All right. All right, step approved. <laughs> when it turned to 340, you could get on your stuff. Cute! Okay! And we finally figured it out because I didn't know what to do on my nails, guys. I didn't. I was just, I was just lost. Like, just, I just be going with the flow. I had did my thumb off camera, similar to those. And I did this one. So I'm about to show y'all how I did that nail. So, um, yeah, we're going to add some leaves. And like I said, I don't know if y'all heard me the first time. Like, people be pros at making these dango leaves. And I am horrible. I don't think I'm horrible, but I feel like I can be a little bit better. So, if it's any tips and tricks... That you can give on making these leaves please please let me know certain brush i gotta use or whatever the case may be certain way to start the leaf certain amount of uh, gel i should have on it See, them ain't even thick enough. See, <sighs> let me add some more gel on my little palette thing so I can pick up a little bit more gel to make my leaves a little bit thicker. Okay, there we go. Hey, have y'all seen what's been going viral with those robots that was at the stadium? Somebody told me that was for a movie. I don't know how true that is, but that's kind of scary if they about to start using robots as seat fillers because, listen, I don't have time to be thinking it's a human next to me the whole time. It's a robot. And I'm over here having a conversation with a robot. <laughs> whole time they a seat filler robot. <laughs> now that's scary. The world is coming to an end. Y'all seen um, Elon Musk creating 
companion robots, robots that you can create to be your lover. Whoa, now let's see how serious that gets. And he is serious with this. Like, he's not playing about these robots. He already got him a little girlfriend. I forgot her name. I'm gonna look it up. They already been taking over jobs. Now they taking over in movies and stuff like that. They ain't even gonna need actors no more. That's how serious it's getting. Hopefully they don't create no robots that can start doing nails real good. Now if they create those, the world is definitely coming to an end. Like, uh, this robot has took my job. <laughs> Lord knows I don't want that to happen. All right, all I needed is a few, and then now I'm gonna create the 3D outline with the white. So I kind of just take a little bit and just make a tiny line. You don't want a lot on there. Can y'all see that? Is it focused? Okay, there we go. You just want a little line on there just so it create that 3D look. If you got to wipe some off your brush. Ah. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going in with the black dots. Kind of just want them anywhere. All right, cure that. Okay, so now that that is done, I gotta clean up a little bit. Use the messy paper towel, but we're gonna use the Madame Glam No Wipe Top Coat. I thought about matting these, but I'm gonna just keep them shiny. I need to clean them. We got some furry stuff on it. Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. Now, this is pretty thick and smooth too, y'all. I like this top coat. Like I said, I used it before and it works well. No chipping, nothing. And I was able to use my chrome on top of this because it's a no white top coat. And that chrome rubbed on this stuff real good. Really good. I can't believe I put all these colors together. I, I kind of thought this was a weird combination of colors, but I liked them. But I think I actually put these colors together well. Let me know what you think in the comments. Just something cute and simple. I mean, it's really not simple, but I can never stay simple. Guys, I don't even think I know how to stay simple. That's why I rarely have simple clients. Because I don't know how to just keep it simple. I'm always over the top with something. Ooh, we yes, yes, yes. Cute, cute, cute. Oh, oh, let me go. Focus, focus, cute. Now, it's time for a picture, a picture, a picture, a picture, a picture. <laughs> okay, let me clean up a little bit. Be back. Cute. Yes, Madam Glam. Oh,